You can see deep, fast-moving water in the Rio Grande. Levels are so high it's causing flooding. As News 13 Stephanie Chavez explains, the river is still not at record highs, but researchers are seeing something unusual this year. It's high. I never seen it like that. It's flooding all over the place. The Rio Grande seems like it's higher than it's been in years. It's been full and it seems like it's going to go over the banks. The river becoming so swollen, some areas of the Bosque are even flooding. So over there in Los Lunas, it's been getting flooding, it's been getting bad over there. You can't walk through the trails or anything. The United States Geological Survey is tracking the river levels on their website, documenting everything from the temperature to how deep it is in different areas, recording it at nearly 20 feet high in Bernardo this week. David Ginsler with the Middle Rio Grande Conservancy okay, District yes. says the river may not be breaking records in terms of how high the water is, but they are seeing some differences. And essentially our entire snowpack, at least above 10,000 feet or so, is still in place right now. Ginsler says typically by this time of year, the snowpack has melted and the runoff <laughs> is over. But he says this year it's steadily increasing and we could see these levels through July. He says that is great news for our dry state. We're getting a chance to push lots of water down to Elephant Butte right now. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. The last time the Rio Grande saw heavy runoff was in 2017 after a long drought.